This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The venue is a familiar space, but the stars of the 2021 Los Angeles Auto Show were quite different. Traditionally, the event focused on the latest in vehicles running on gasoline or diesel fuel. But after a two-year hiatus, even that has changed. Electric vehicles took center stage and to underscore their newfound clout, once niche brands like Fisker had a space on the main floor. This is a brand that does not have a dealer network or traditional assembly plants. Instead, they'll have electronics giant Foxconn deliver the ocean crossover from a plant that will be built in the U.S. Unlike previous vehicles from the brand, the 2023 Fisker Ocean Crossover will be priced starting in the mid $30,000 range to attract a wide range of buyers. Hyundai is already offering fully electric vehicles like the compact Kona Electric and the Ioniq 5 hatchback. Now they're making a move into the next segment with a larger fully electric crossover, the 7. For now, it's a concept car that is very close to reality. The final version will make adjustments to comply with U.S. safety requirements. It falls into a design style that other automakers have been playing around with, as well as with the idea that mobility is an experience in addition to being a means of getting from point A to point B. Nissan used Los Angeles as a way to drum up interest and possible sales of the 2023 Aria crossover. Larger than the existing battery electric Leaf, it also features upgraded interior functions and touches that move the brand into the premium segment. It's available in four trim levels and offers a range of 300 miles for the base front wheel drive version. Think about an EV. There are different use cases from customers. Some customers want to drive 100 miles a day. Some customers want to drive 20 miles a day. Right? So there's an area for every customer. Along with better known automakers, several niche builders are also participating in the event with everything from converted gasoline models to customized trucks, SUVs, and even electric motorbikes. It was no surprise when toymaker Mattel got into the act with a near full-size version of the Barbie car. By the way, it is a battery electric powered unit that can be put on the road, but only when Barbie and her pals are properly attired for the occasion. Perhaps one of the most intriguing participants was a Vietnamese company, VinFast, which is trying to break into the U.S. market with two fully electric vehicles. The Land Rover Group finds itself straddling technologies as it moves towards a fully electric platform. The 2023 Range Rover made its North American debut at Automobility LA. Of course, the event would not be complete without a few Hollywood celebrities in attendance. But behind the glitz and glamour is a multifaceted approach to building luxury SUVs that will be relevant for several years. Um, so at launch we'll have two petrol powered vehicles, um, a inline six cylinder that's a mild hybrid version that's turbo and supercharged. Uh, we also have a completely new 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. Um, but also early next year we'll be bringing a completely new plug-in hybrid option. The fully electric version will be a 2024 model year product. We'll be waiting to see how that works out. I'm Greg Morrison.